Man, I really wanted to pretend to be an underage fish swimming around using the power of water to heal and empower her allies. <gasps> Boys, today I bring you Nami, the fish who does things. This fish is so easy to play. Oh my god. Okay, the cue, a little bit of a whoopsie daisy like we don't know what's going on over there but everything else you just click on your allies and boom you win the game it's so easy do you wish to swim around your allies and just kind of like basically prance around but for you float around instead um and you kind of just like press some buttons every once in a while and sometimes in the direction of enemies and it's just like your allies just do the rest, like you really don't have to do much of anything else. You wanna bubble some bozos? Okay, we got a cue for you, right? Boom! Launch a bubble at somebody, what are they gonna do for the next, like, two seconds? Absolutely nothing but, ooh, float around, cause the gravity's been changing. That's right, we raise our enemies up off the ground and put them on this pedestal, and then say, eh, well, your time's up, you get to go back to the ground, and then they meet their untimely demise. The W is a cool little bouncy little wave thing, and it heals, and it damages, and it's just, you know, you kinda just initiate a fight with it, honestly, because what do you have to lose? And initiate? Like, oh no, a heal! That comes back in a couple of seconds, ooh! You can also initiate with your E, which is just an empowering thing, and you speed up an ally or yourself, and then their next three attacks are, like, boosted or something. It also slows the enemies, which is pretty useful. And then the wave, oh my god, if this isn't one of the most satisfying ultimates, uh, in my opinion, for support enchanters, like, you just see a group of enemies, you press R in their direction, and then, ooh, like, it's like Maokai, but faster, and they get knocked up, and it's in a slimmer area. So, like, it's not really like Maokai ult at all, but it it's cool, it's a wave, it's, it's water, we love water here, let's go. So that's basically a rundown of what Nami does. Um, I really don't have anything else past here. But what I do have to say is this fish is up to some stanky business. Oh my god. I have to say her Q is simultaneously the easiest and hardest skill shot to land. I For some reason, I don't know why. It might just be me. It might just be because I'm stupid or something. But I swear, you either have a great day where you hit every single bubble. Or you have a terrible day where you like barely hit the socks of people like as they're trailing away like if some gin is on fleet footwork or something but he's for some reason leaving his socks behind i don't know where this is going but like it's so difficult sometimes and i don't know why it's so slow but it's so fast it's so big it's so small but it works i'm not sure it's a good balance i guess so way to go all right but let's break this down because if we haven't done so already nami is one of the easiest enchanters to play, second to like Soraka or something stupid. But she's super easy to get into the game with, and she's super easy to just kind of press your buttons, get a good, get a little lay of the land, and see where we're going from there. And by the way, I did just want to address this. Thank you guys so much for the love on the last blank is easy, Mordekaiser is easy. Absolutely blew me out of the water with that one. Oh my god, a water pun with the fish character. Okay, that wasn't scripted because this isn't scripted at all. But this, like, thank you guys so much on that Mordekaiser support, uh, support video. Like, crazy, crazy stuff. But this video was, uh, kind of started before I even thought of putting that video together. Um, so, I will be maybe straying away from typical supports. Quote-unquote, typical supports. I do want to do some more off-meta picks, and I've got some already in the chambers and ready to, ready to kind of get tackled and going on there. But I will be doing some more supports. Eventually, my goal would be eventually get through all of the supports, obviously, except for the stupid hard ones or the stupid boring ones. Like, I don't have any examples, but let's just pick somebody. Maybe like Bard or something. Okay, don't get me wrong. Bard is absolutely a chat. Bard is super cool and all that stuff. But I do not know how in the world I would get a Bard is easy video going. I feel like I, would, I could be here for months trying to get footage for that thing. But to whatever... Points aside, all that stuff aside, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm just gonna put the rest of some Nami clips. I don't even know if I have any more after this. You know what? We're gonna end the video right here, right now, with one final Nami clip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week with whatever the heck I am playing. And, uh, League of Legends. Boop. 
Oh. Right. Huge. Nice. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, no, 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 no! I got you, Wyatt. Thank you. Are you guys gonna back me up? Yep, yep, yep. We're here. Uh... Nice. Uh, Stain of Redemption right here. I'm too worried about this mess on Nice. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Run. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know how I got that. Massive. Oh, do we win? Do we win the game? Guys. Guys. The Nami was easy. The more. I finished my support item at 12 minutes. Yeah. Fourth game in a row, not using Ignite at all.